Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in today's video, my eight years of experience will be explained to you in eight minutes. At the same time, we will be knowing all about what is DevOps, what is SRE and what are the main difference that you are going to take from this video so that you prepare your resume accordingly, you prepare your job search criteria accordingly in 2024 and what is good for you, whether it is DevOps or it is SRE. Let's get started. So yeah, I got placed in Infosys in the year 2016 and at that time DevOps was just coming into existence in the world. So it means that the year of birth for DevOps you can consider like in the year 2016 when I started my career. So I was right away placed into the ENG any -E team in Infosys where I was kicked out straight away after two months of working from there because I was not knowing A, B, C, D of DevOps. But after the struggle in one project for one year, I got to know what is DevOps. So stay tuned. I'll be explaining you all about DevOps in the first point. Now, when it comes to DevOps, right, we can understand like it's all about not giving the textbook answer. So I'm not going to explain you a textbook answer. I'm going to explain you about uh, the practical experience which I gained over the last many years, right? So what I have understood is basically DevOps is an amalgamation of tools and technologies that are rapidly coming into the market. And these tools are helping the development teams to make sure they are rapidly delivering the product into the market. For example, you have the tech stack of Jenkins, SonarCube, Maven, Black Duck, Checkmarks, uh, same time you have JFrog, Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible. These kind of tools play an important role in DevOps, right? At the same time, you need to understand when you are trying to integrate tool A with tool B, let's take I want to integrate my Jenkins with JFrog. You have to know how this integration happens. So basically, you have to know about the Linux system administration also because at the end, all the tools, whichever we have discussed in this DevOps stack are basically going to be deployed on your Linux systems, right? Now, coming on to one more factor, when you are trying to integrate these two tools, obviously you have to know how these tools are getting integrated. So for that, you need to know scripting languages. So some of the scripting languages under DevOps is your Python scripting, your shell scripting and your groovy scripting, which plays an important role. And I hope that you are taking down all the notes and making sure that, okay, in 2024, these are the things which are coming into the DevOps stack. Now going ahead, let's think like I have completed my three years in, in Infosys and I made sure that I came to know about your, your CI, CD, your deployments onto Kubernetes, how to containerize your Docker applications, how to make sure you write your Kubernetes files, how to make sure you write your Docker files, how to make sure you write your Jenkins file. Now here comes the twist from my DevOps journey I straight away moved into Verizon. Now Verizon, you all know that it's a telecommunication company. It's one of the largest telecom provider in USA. In this company, I have basically worked on networking systems. So basically, if you can understand the 4G applications, the 5G applications, their deployments and all those things. And most importantly, in this organization, I learned DevOps is not just DevOps guys. DevOps is also learning tools at the same time learning leadership qualities the way you talk in the interview the way you see yourself with the help of the confidence so that you crack interview one is your leadership skills how you manage your team how you talk with the development team and convince to use your product let's take today i am trying to integrate xyz tool which is new in the market so i need to convince the development team hey guys you use my tool it will be best suited for you right you have to show them the criteria of making sure that this tool is best for you right so you need to have convincing skills you need to have team management skills you need to have problem solving ability let's take you are struck at some point of time and you are going to troubleshoot on that suppose you are going into on call, you are into a production issue. How you are going to come out from that? How you are going to take all of them together and sit and solve that error is one of the important part in DevOps. So DevOps, till now what you have understood with my 
Verizon experiences that DevOps is also learning about leadership qualities. Now here also comes the main part, which is your cloud. Now in Verizon, I understood that DevOps also plays an important role in learning cloud. So you as a DevOps engineer need to know any one cloud, let's take AWS, Azure, GCP, any of one cloud among these three clouds. And to be very honest, AWS is one of the prominent leader in the current market scenario. And depending on the type of company you are going to apply, because in every company, the stack gets changed. So no need to worry the criteria. I mean, the underlying services, the underlying projects, the underlying uh, infrastructure will be same for all the companies. But only thing is which cloud they're going to deploy their application a little bit changes, but that's not a big issue for you. So what I'm going to tell here is any one cloud of your choice. I love AWS. So I'm an AWS guy. So, so I make sure that I always learn on top of AWS, any new things which are coming into the, into the bucket, right? So till now what you have understood time is now 548, uh, means like five minutes and 50 seconds we have completed. So according to me, DevOps is about learning tools, about your leadership qualities, about learning your cloud. Now, after completing my two years into Verizon, I joined Walmart. Now in Walmart, I was completely a DevOps and SRE guy. Now. Here comes an interesting part. So what does an SRE do, right? So you all will be under, uh, thinking that, okay, what does an SRE ro role do? Now I am introducing some new concepts here, which an SRE engineer does, okay? Apart from automation, apart from deployments, apart from your tools learning, apart from your cloud, there are some set of things which every site reliability engineer needs to know. Now, whatever the five years of experience I had is you can consider like pre DevOps, Okay. Now you can consider the SRE part is like post DevOps. Okay. Now post DevOps includes your monitoring. Now in the monitoring, you will have your tools like Prometheus, Grafana, Dynatrace, Datadog, New Relic. So these all tools help your projects to be reliable, to be up and running 24 bar seven, to not have any production issue, to make sure your clients are happy, right? So happy client means happy project. So that's what we are going to look at from the SRE point of view. So SRE means bringing smile on the face of the client by delivering 24 bar 7 bar 365 days up and running applications. This is point number one. Point number two, in SRE, you need to make sure that you are giving the best performance related techniques for your application. Let's think like this. The Flipkart is going to launch your big billion sale and the ref estimated target traffic for your applications, let's say 1 trillion requests per minute. Okay. Now how you are going to do the performance testing, how you are going to make sure your application deployed infrastructure is robust. Now here comes your second part. That is your performance. Now third part, let's think like this big billion sale has happened. You have scaled up your infrastructure. Now the third part is cost optimization. Yeah, every company is into this cost optimization because what happens is big billion sale, the peak server time, everything is infrastructure is really like bumped up guys. Okay. At that point of time. Now, now after the big billion sale has happened, now the Flipkart doesn't need that much infrastructure. So obviously they have to do the cost cutting. Now they will be pitching in the SRE team will be pitching in the DevOps will be pitching in SRE team will be pitching and they will be telling that, okay, boss, you have to cut down your infrastructure to this, this, this. And that's how we are saving the cost. Like maybe hundred dollars, hundred K dollars or thousand K dollars, something kind of that. So cost optimization in SRE plays an important role. Now, one more thing, which is very much important in terms of SRE is your systems integration. Now they will be, they will be asking you in interview. Suppose they give you a database is there. You are sending some 10 files per minute to this database. Now they will give you some scenario like this and they will ask you how you will implement the best practice of SRE in this particular communication. Now you have to tell that you have to, you have to make sure that your files are multi-part upload to this database. You have to make sure that your database is scalable, reliable, security implemented and backup oriented. Every concept comes in guys. So at the end, what I'm going to tell is in 2024, if you want to become a good and the best DevOps and SRE engineer, Whatever I have told you in phases, you have to learn and make sure that you are going to stand on your feet, right? If you are starting your career newly, I would recommend you go with DevOps and cloud. If you are in the mid level IT domain person or career change person, then start with both DevOps and SRE, but make sure 
in your resume, DevOps slash SRE role is mentioned and some of the pointers you can mention in your resume related to SRE so that chances of getting you selected for the first round is more. So what are you waiting for? If you have liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. Stay tuned, something big is coming onto the channel and after many days, this video has been released. So I think you will show that love. So this is Singham signing off from this channel. Stay tuned.